In today's video, I'll be showing you how to change Excel into dark mode, including its cells. So the first thing that you need to do is just open Excel. Once you have Excel open, you then need to select account and you will then see a drop down menu under office theme. You need to select this and then click on dark gray. Once you've done that, now go ahead and open up the Excel document that you're currently using. I'm just going to click on new to create a new blank workbook. Once you have it open, you then need to select page layout at the top and you will then see an option for background. Go ahead and select this option. And before we go any further, you now need to open up the start menu and type in paint and then open it. Once you've opened paint, you now need to select the bucket at the top and you then need to choose this dark gray next to the black color. You can also click on edit colors and choose a slightly different color if you want a slightly darker gray. Once you're happy, press OK and then just click into the white space and now go file, save as. And you now need to save this image anywhere. I'm just going to save it in my pictures folder and I'm now just going to call this Excel and then background and then press save. You then need to go back to Excel and you now need to go from a file and you then need to go to the location where you just saved your picture and then select it and go open. And there you go, that is how you change Excel into dark mode, including its cells. Also, if you are struggling to now read the text that's within your Excel workbook, then you can always change the font color by simply selecting your text. So I've just written test there, go to home, and then just change the font color here. Also, if you were to delete that picture that we created within Paint, it would still load this background color. And if you were to load this workbook on another computer, it would still load the background color as well. If you did want to remove the background color, then you can go back to page layout and then click on delete background. So I hope this video helped you out and you enjoyed it. If you did like the video, click the like button below. And if you'd like to see more computer sluggish videos, then click that subscribe button. If you do subscribe, then I will see you in the next video.